If you are sailing on Ovation of the Seas soon or even considering booking her and wondering what the food options are like, this is the video for you. These are some of our food choices during our week on Ovation of the Seas. Tell us in the comments below what your favorite food options are on a cruise. The Windjammer is Royal Caribbean's buffet, and we usually always make this choice for embarkation day because there are so many food options to choose from and the most seating availability of any venue on board. However, you will find other lunch venues open on ships this size and larger on embarkation day if you're looking for less of a crowd and don't need so many options. Time for some Windjammer. We thought about going to the Slarian Bistro or the um, 270 Cafe, but we just love all the choices at Windjammer. The outdoor seating on Windjammer. Oh my goodness, y'all. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. And with the sunny day, this is the best seating. Best seating on the ship. This is at the very back of the Windjammer, y'all. When you come into the Windjammer, if you want to sit outside, you gotta get out here quickly and get your seat and then go back and get your food. And probably have someone save your seat here because, I mean, with this kind of view, what are you gonna do? You're never, I mean, these seats will be taken 24-7. Super excited about my walk created fresh live Asian food. Can you fresh live? Fresh live. Fresh made in a walk. So you walk walked walk. over there to have him cook something in I the walk? I walked over there to the walk. And I then to go with it, I got focaccia bread. Oh, well, you know. It doesn't go. But it, you know. It's all right. And polenta, baked polenta. There you go. We'll see. Enjoy. We get off the elevator at the Windjammer, and this is the line that we see, like all the way back there, all the way, all the way up to there, in line for Washi Washi, because there are like four sinks, and they have a gate, like a bar, that you have to go at least through the sink area to be prepared. Now that the Windjammer rush for breakfast has slowed down a little bit, I'm going to show you the breakfast bar. As you walk in on one side or the other, you've got the bakery, you've got orange marmalade, strawberry jam, peanut butter, and grape jelly toppings. Those are for display only, so let's actually see what breads they have. Here are the baguettes and soft rolls, and then you have croissants also. And of course, there's butter there for you. And then there's the full bar if you want something more interesting to drink during breakfast. And they have a beautiful fruit bar. Full fruits, as you can see. Full apples and oranges and pears. Soft rolls. This is the deli um, bar, which is interesting for breakfast food, at least for this Texas girl. Salami, black forest ham, ham, cheddar cheese. And the other end is a soft roll again. On the other side is more wonderful fruit. You got your apples and bananas. You got figs. Hey guys, thanks for the help. He helped me with my figs this morning. He was reminding me what they were called. And peaches. You've got your grapefruit and your orange slices, cantaloupe slices, as well as honeydew and watermelon. And then you have your cereal bar, which has, it did have blueberry parfait right there. It looks like they're out. This is European muesli and all the toppings you could ever want. Walnuts, diced fruits, flax seeds, apricot, European muesli, plain muesli, strawberry yogurt, and plain yogurt. Whole milk, Cheerios, Raisin Bran, Corn Flakes, Kellogg's Granola, your chocolate milk. These are all included drinks too, people. So whole milk and chocolate milk are included. Rice crispy cereal and Fruit Loops. And then you have your carton, low-fat milk. At the opposite cereal bar, they also have your grits and your hot milk, along with, and some of you will love this, avocado toast with prosciutto. And your vegetarian bar, Asian fried rice, bahi, 
puree that's covered up right now, breakfast potato, grilled tomato, classic scrambled egg, as well as some toppings. You got scallions, salsa, and grated cheese. And a big old glazed ham. Morning. And applesauce to go with the ham. For boiled eggs and plenty of bacon. That looks like a potato mix to me. It's not labeled though. And then you got your pork sausage links, corned beef hash, chicken sausages as well, and baked beans. Your international flavor bar is next. This is Asian style fried rice, gluten free. That right there I believe is pork sausage links. They also have titled as gluten free. So those of you who are looking for gluten free foods, they will have it labeled for you. And I had some of those, they're hash browns and they're really good. They also align with labeled favorites. So let's take a look at these. You got your congi, and then you've got all of your toppings for your egg bar. Sweet chili sauce, bean sprouts, fried onion, corn, soy sauce, carrots, scallion, ginger, tofu, and bamboo shoot. You also have a section that is already fried eggs. This is what I like so I don't have to wait for them to make me an omelet. And then of course more hash browns and more whole fruit. And then you get to your egg station. There's one on each side. They do it specially for you right there, hot off the grill. And then they give you a beeper that Miss Kahaya has right behind her. She takes your order and they beep you at your table. So you got lots of toppings there for your omelets as well. Either side, you have your toppings, your whipped cream, your chocolate sauce, cinnamon sugar. So usually they have regular pancakes in there and they look to be empty and you got your syrup raisin pancakes and french toast those actually look like waffles to me but i did see my neighbor at breakfast with french toast so i know they do offer it and last but not least it's labeled toast but it's sweet pastries cinnamon sugar donut chocolate donut caramel croissant raspberry danish cinnamon roll danish bran muffin chocolate muffin and then your regular white and it looks like wheat toast as well more of your toppings that we saw earlier the peanut butter grape jelly orange marmalade strawberry jam as well as your english muffins and your bagels and i had to come over to the other side opposite side of the room is the exact same bar except it's not the same because this bar has chocolate donuts i haven't tried them on board this ship yet um, but uh, I will, believe me, and I'll give you a review. We have a full supply of tea bags. I say full supply, but I haven't seen any green tea yet since I've been on board. And a full supply of sweeteners, as well as honey to put in your tea. And then there's your hot water dispenser. And they also offer juices, apple, iced tea, fruit punch, and orange. And those are all free. And then here is your full service alcohol bar and or your fresh squeezed juice, which also costs money, or you can use your diamond or above vouchers for anything that would be extra fee. You obviously also have available your regular and decaf coffee, along with whole milk, half and half, and skim milk, as well as your Coca-Cola machine if you have paid for your soda package or drink package. JJ's testing the cinnamon sugar donut for us. Told them we hadn't tried them yet and we'd give them a review. Verdict, on a scale of one to 10, with Eight. 10 being an American donut. Eight and a half. Oh wow, that's pretty good. I told you I would test the donuts for you. JJ just did the cinnamon sugar for us and I'm gonna test the chocolate for you. To me, it's about a six. It's very, it's always more thick dough. I am a donut connoisseur. I better, I better test that because I'm not sure that that Intel report's accurate. Considering where I am right now, that's a 10. Not home, but considering where I am, that's a 10. I did get a cafe mocha and Sorrento's pizza. So we go to 270 and it's closed. 270 Cafe actually is where we were. And so we're in Windjammer doing washi washi. I'm trying to decide if I'm even hungry or not after my two pieces of pizza and a coffee and two cookies. The fruit bar, whole fruit, beautiful salad fixins with all the mess you could want to put in it. 
as well as dressings and oil and vinegar. Thousand Island raspberry vinaigrette, blue cheese, and ranch. This is formal night, so this might be a little smaller menu than usual for dinner. And this bar is called soup, but it also has breads of all kinds. Tonight we have roasted butternut squash soup, an onion soup that contains beef broth, toasted cheese bread, roasted cauliflower, marinated olives and marinated beef, along with some flour, seeds, rye bread, soft cheese roll. So if you want a little bit of a sandwich, this is pretty much the deli section also. Black Forest ham, salami, cheddar cheese, gouda cheese, focaccia bread, baguette, and multigrain loaf. This is the International Flavors Bar. Green beans almondine, which JJ had and he was very happy with. Chicken with savory mushroom, sauteed vegetables, tomato sauce, and white sauce. Aglio e olio, and vegetable baked pasta. He got some chili flakes and some oregano and some garlic bread. With the amazing roasted loin, and our friend. Ooh, that looks good. And you got some applesauce there to go with it. As well as pickles, raita, yogurt, and papadum. This is a gluten-free side as well. This is lamb Rogan Josh, steamed rice, pan-fried fish with beer blanc, some sauteed vegetables. It looks like bok choy to me from here, gravy, and mashed potatoes. The vegetarian offerings for this evening are stuffed grilled eggplant, which you just took away and it looked amazing. You can see it back there. The roasted rosemary potato, stuffed peppers with rice mushroom, Pelek Hunter. That's what it says. Pelek Hunter, I guess. Dal fry steamed rice, vegetable tempura and a tempura sauce to go with it. Chicken cordon bleu, pan fried fish with bior blanc, a potato gratin, gravy, and mashed potatoes. They have the classics, hot dogs and burgers. Start down here with your hamburger and your hot dog buns. Tonight you got mac and cheese, chicken fingers, and french fries, along with beef hamburgers and cheeseburgers, and hot dogs, and Buffalo sauce, it says back there, along with all the fixins, American cheese, blue cheese, sweet relish there in the back, peppers, and some lettuce. And then you have your pasta bar on either side, where the chef will make your pasta dishes with whatever sauces and fixins that you want. Around the corner from the pasta bar, they also have garbanzo salad and tomato and cucumber salad. And then the section that says international flavors, they have quiche Lorraine, they're almost out of. Chicken cordon bleu and croquet madame. That looks like a ham sandwich with an egg on top. A coco vin, pan fried fish and Vior blanc and back with your green beans almondine. Your crepe station. <laughs> you got shredded chocolate and white chocolate, chocolate sauce, Oreo flakes. And your dessert offerings for this evening are classic Napoleon, dark chocolate chip cookies, which are vegan. That looks like some kind of tart up top there. On the end here, you have raspberry pudding and vanilla sauce. No sugar added section for those who are watching that in their diet. You have toasted almond cream puff and jaloux de frutis rogus. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like some kind of no sugar added fruit pizza, in my opinion. <laughs> Cappuccino chocolate cake and a blueberry mousse, which is gluten free as well. Assorted jello, which is also gluten free. And then some of our favorites, which are the cookies. And they have their coconut cookies tonight and oatmeal raisin cookies. And then a different kind of jello over here, which they also point out, of course, is gluten free. So they try to do their best with pointing out the foods that are sugar free and gluten free for those of you who are looking for those choices. Post dinner belly for JJ is still queasy. Queasy, queasy, queasy. But he did notice that some people in Windjammer had 
ice cream. I've been told it's good for your tummy. <laughs> Definitely dairy is excellent on a, on a queasy stomach. It helps coat your tummy. There you go. Kind of like Pepto-Bismol? Yeah. Yeah. It's like... But the, it tastes better. The Pepto-Bismol of the sea. It tastes better. Soft serve ice cream. Yeah. I may have to get two just to get to the room. And on the ovation here, you can see that we're on the pool deck. And it is right here under the umbrella, right beside one yeah, of so right beside one of the hot tubs, right before you get to the indoor pool. Here, get you a bite of that. We got a swirl. And while we were walking to breakfast, we found the diamond lounge. So we're gonna stop by. Where's the oh there it is. <laughs> and pull. Here we go. We'll check out the diamond lounge here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's busier than I thought it would be this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got your concierge here on the side and your small little, show them the little breakfast buffet, JJ. Yeah. Come on in, you got someone coming in behind Good you. Good morning, officer on deck. Hi. How are you, sir? Sir, sir we're fine, thank you. <clears throat> so you got snacks here and I oh, like the toasting machines and espresso or coffee over there. I'm not sure what kind of machine what that a, is. What a nice service bar. Yeah, come on in, babe. Nice service bar. Yeah, espresso cappuccino. Wow. And a latte mochaccino. Yeah, this is nice. And I love the ocean view. It's nice that you actually have some ocean view. Like on Allure is the only Oasis class that's left with an ocean view because it missed its refurb. Very nice. What Wonders was down in the basement too, wasn't it? Yeah. With no, with no, light, uh, no ocean view? Yeah. Oh, so it's a beautiful lounge. And this is the Solarium Bistro out on the deck. It is a buffet, quite a bit of seating inside and outside tables as well. And it is literally looking out onto the Solarium. So the choices this morning at the buffet our strawberry yogurt, flavored yogurt, plain yogurt, and earlier they did have a little bit of raspberry parfait. Roasted potatoes and grilled tomatoes, hash browns, bacon, which I swear just five minutes ago was full. They're going through bacon quickly this morning. Ham and cheese omelet, corned beef hash, pork sausage, scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, baked beans in the back there, and grilled mushrooms. Along with French toast, biscuits and gravy. Wow, all the bread is empty right now, but they did, when I came through, have it. Plain pancakes and strawberry pancakes. Biscuits and gravy were amazing, I had those. And then this is the omelet station where you can order your omelet. They'll give you a beeper and you'll come back and get it. And for your French toast, they have all kinds of toppings here. Raisins, strawberry compote, toasted walnuts, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and breakfast syrup. And then muesli with fruit and all the toppings as well. And then the second bar has baguettes, raisin bread, soft rolls, your butter, of course, smoked salmon with capers and cream cheese, mixed fruit with yogurt, and some whole fruit there, mixed fruit without yogurt. And then your deli section, mortadella, which contains nuts, they claim. So if you have allergies, watch out for that because they'll tell you. Have salami, Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, and then all kind of already cut up fruits, your honeydew and your watermelon and your pineapple and your cantaloupe. And they have whole milk, chocolate milk, and low fat milk for your choices, as well as cornflakes. <clears throat> Looks like low fat granola and raisin bran for some cereal choices. For your pastry choices, you got apple danish, cinnamon roll, croissant, chocolate croissant, sugar donuts, white chocolate donuts that I don't see any of, bran muffins, and carrot muffins, as well as toppings, which are peanut butter, orange marmalade, honey, and grape jelly. As I walked by the bacon tin, it was full again, just to make you feel better about the supply of bacon. This is fish and chips. Plenty of seating inside and out. They're just getting ready for the day, but I'm going to show it to you. 
It's right off the children's water play area. As you can imagine, the menu is fish and more. Morning! Just showing them around the place. Here's the menu. Fish and chips, fried shrimp and chips, chicken fingers and chips, crispy fish sandwich, uh, fried lobster tail that's extra. So all of that up top is included on the house as they put it. And then you can also get the fried lobster tail. And 18% gratuity will be added for certain ports or itineraries. This is the game plan. So we had that wonderful dinner and I thought that we'd come back for dessert. No, actually, you thought of it. Thank you. That's the so, truth. Dessert is chunky monkey. Look at him. This is the first buy I've had. I'm a magician. I make things disappear. Seriously. Hocus pocus. Just realized this is a pint. And what do we not have in our room that keeps this good? A freezer? A freezer. We don't have a freezer in our room. So we have to eat it all. Oh, darn. Is that the game plan? Oh, darn. That was the plan all along? Yes. I mean, no. We have to eat the whole thing. So it's $5 or your waistline. Yeah, it was $10 for the pint. So we don't eat half of it, so we, leave, we lose $5. That's or true. you gain two pounds and an inch in your waistline. Oh, he says he's done. We'll see about that. Breakfast lesson. Only get what your stomach can handle rather than your eyes. Unfortunately, I'm leaving an entire donut. It's twofold though. One, I'm full. Two, these are not like American donuts. Like an American donut would like tear apart and the glazed icing would stay on top. This is like the... Wood chip. Yeah, wood chip. I don't know what the icing is called. And it wasn't warm, unfortunately. It, it is still sweet, so if you want a little something, I, I will tell you possibly what to get instead. JJ already ate his. It was a waffle. Belgian waffle. A Belgian waffle with, what was it, strawberries? Yep. Strawberry syrup with strawberries in it, as well as... What was the brand of the syrup you got? Smucker's Sugar Free. Smucker's Sugar Free, like regular pancake syrup too. That looked like the sweet part of breakfast. JJ just made a declaration. Since we have an abundance of onboard credit, what are you looking at for dinner, Mr. Wagner? Oh, I believe I do the chops filet mignon. Mm, which is, I think, $16.99 now. No, I think it may be a little more than that now. In the MDR, I think. Yeah, we'll see. $17.99, right? I think it's like everything And possibly else lobster, which you can also buy extra in the MDR. Yeah, I'm gonna spend your money and do it. Royal Caribbean released eight new dining room menus at the beginning of 2023. I'll show you all the menus here, and you can pause the video and check them out further if you wish. Also remember, once you're booked, and get close to your sailing date, the specific menus for your cruise will be available on the Royal Caribbean app. All sailings will feature the welcome aboard menu on the first evening. Sailings six nights and longer will offer the French menu on the first formal night, which for seven night sailings is generally night two. All sailings will feature the Italian menu on at least one evening. Sailings six nights and longer will offer the British night menu on at least one evening as well. Sailings six nights and longer will also offer the royal night menu on the second formal night, which for seven night sailings is usually night six. On Mexico sailings, the Mexican night menu comes out on the first evening in a Mexico port. And on a Caribbean sailing, the Caribbean night menu comes out on the first evening at a Caribbean port. Last but not least, sailing six nights or longer will feature the Bon Voyage menu on the final evening. This is UK night in the main dining room. What'd you order, JJ? The Surf and Turf. I'm gonna give it a shot. You went with the full Monty. <laughs> That's not really the right word. Be careful of that. <laughs> I went with the cheese sticks. What'd you order for appetizer? Oh, you forgot to ask me. Salad. Escargot and, and salad. Escargot. He's always got to have his snails. Yep. He's got the snails. So I ordered mozzarella cheese sticks, which was the recommendation of Armand, our waiter. Are we going fancy with cheese sticks now? I guess we'll see. And fettuccine alfredo for 
main course and English trifle for dessert because all they had was dark chocolate chocolate cake. We're so busy digging in, we forgot to show you. I got no time to talk because I'm eating some escargot. Did you already taste it though? And thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. What's this called? <laughs> Mozzarella cheese sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Mozzarella cheese sticks. Uh, I mean, sorry, we're straight with y'all, right? Like, we're straight. We're always straight. So I'm gonna be straight. They taste like frozen mozzarella sticks from Walmart. I mean, I was gonna say from my local Italian restaurant, but my Italian restaurants are probably better cheese sticks. I mean, they are Italian cheese sticks. I mean, mozzarella cheese stick. What you gonna do? But. They're not fancy, like I thought they might be, something special, no, they're mozzarella cheese sticks. So your kids will love them. Anyone who just likes fried cheese will be pleased. I had to ask for more mozzarella sauce, but- Marinara? Mar I'm Marina. sorry, yes, marinara. It was Marina. like a pile of tomatoes is all it was. So I asked for more marinara sauce. House dinner salad. JJ's second appetizer. With ranch. Oh, okay, so it's- I'm a ranch kind of guy. It's good quality. Very good. Good tasting. Ranch sticks to the lettuce. It, it passes the Texas test, yes. Mm -hmm. Lobster, surf, and turf. And the lobster Got a is not tiny, but a little small. A prime and tenderloin from Chops. And uh, this is what we call a jumbo shrimp in Texas. Texas. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. So we're going to see. Let's see. Let's take a taste. You better let me test that first. Let's take a taste. See how the sauce is because the, is it the thick? secrets in the sauce. Is it, is it thick? No talking. That means very good sign. Double thumbs okay. up. Longer. A little bit longer. Yep, and it's all, and that'll be like perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So JJ had a slight mishap with his steak. What was the problem? It was overcooked. Okay, so you ordered it. I ordered it medium rare. And it came medium. And you've been waiting probably thirty. At minutes least thirty minutes. For the new one. They brought out the new one. And it was rare, not medium rare. So you said a little bit longer. A little bit longer and it should be so perfect. let's hope they literally put that one back on the grill. Yeah, they will. They will. Instead of starting a new one. That's much better. Thank you. Thank you. Much better. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Fettuccine Alfredo was amazing. Not like my... Italian restaurant at home, but just as good. I don't know, I don't cook, so I don't know what was different or missing, but it, I, you know, I could taste the butter, I could taste the whatever cream. I mean, it tasted like Alfredo sauce. It was wonderful, and the noodles were cooked just right, so excellent. New menu, our first experience with it, and this is UK night. This is called English trifle, I believe, the dessert, and it was covered with whipped cream on top, like this, and then I'm not sure some yellow stuff, and then what tastes like fruit jello. Not my favorite. Not even on my list. <laughs> Nowhere on the list. We'll not be having this again. FYI, for you. Dicky toffee pudding. Okay, he's already taken several bites out, out of it, and is it good? So good, I'm not sharing it. So shopping is done. In the meantime, this is what I went shopping for. Coconut cookies, and they're soft tonight. They're soft. Day five was a port day. We did Windjammer for breakfast and ate in port at a great local restaurant. We had made dinner reservations at Jamie's on embarkation day, of course, with our Chops Plus One package, but we were not prepared for the feast that would be served. I forgot what they call the bread. I forget what they call the bread. But we got the bread. That was one of our starters. We love the bread at Jamie's, so we know we're gonna like it. Okay, why don't you... Uh, yeah. Tear one open. Yeah. Let them know how it is. See, that's butter and basil. Oh my goodness. Look at that. In my mouth. Oh yeah. As good as ever. Yep. Starter, what'd you get? Fried calamari. With a mayo sauce. How is it? Ooh. 
lovely. I got crab, avocado, and some kind of cracker. It also had tomatoes that came with it, but I don't like tomatoes, and so they left the tomatoes off. It looks beautiful, like fresh crab meat. I can't wait to see you taste that. Yes. Okay, and he brought us something else. I have no idea what that I is. Know. We're not sure what it is. Well, we're going to so give it a shot. We'll try to ask him. And we'll, we'll tell you later. We'll try to find out what it is. We found out the mystery. It's truffle briata. This is cheese and nuts and syrup and bread. You just used a descriptive word for the calamari. I did? Yes. Phenomenal. I just said that. I absolutely did. The crab and avocado and crackers was interesting. I can't um, put my finger on it. It was good. So I think the taste is very unique. The crab with the avocado because it's not guacamole. It is straight just smashed up avocado. avocado. <laughs> so don't expect any, I'm not even sure it has any seasonings in it, like salt or pepper or anything. I think it's just straight avocado on the base of the plate and then the crab over it and the crackers. The crackers made it. I, I could not have eaten it. I would not have eaten it without the crackers. Mm. It gives you something to put the avocado and the, the crab on, but it also just added, you know, another layer of taste with the, sure. crunch, the crunch. Sure. So um, it was good if you like all that. And it normally comes with tomatoes. So if you like tomatoes, that might set it off. Who knows? Okay. I just got to say this. This is like four Seriously. adult Seriously meals. Seriously is. Okay. But he's got his main... And then, is that a side? This is a side. Prawn, and then prawns. He, he gave us a side of a, a main dish just because JJ couldn't decide what he wanted. And then my main, and I still have my side coming. And I want you to look at that lasagna. Well, we're not there yet. Let's start with yours. What no, you I want to look at this. <laughs> you Your lasagna is like seven you stories go tall. Straight to. Like, let me see it from here. Yes. That lasagna, I'm zooming in. Right. That lasagna is like, I don't know, five inches thick. Yes. Okay. And it, it always tastes amazing. I mean, whether it's the MDR, actually, I love the MDR yeah. uh, lasagna and also. And then that's salmon. And broccoli. And with those it. prawns. Oh, my goodness. And then this is... I'm Henry, sure. what is Sherry got there? What is this right here? Carbonara. Carbonara. Oh, car I got I to gotta rest so I can eat. Okay, so review. We haven't even... We're not even done yet, but... Ugh. Okay, a couscous, you said, was a little spicy. Right here. with the salmon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got a little bam to a little kick to the super salmon. And amazing. It's very good. It's just way too much food. And the broccoli? The broccoli was perfect. It sprouted, sprouted broccoli, seasoned perfectly, cooked perfectly. Ah, amazing. Prawn linguine is outstanding. Mm -hmm. That's what he just brought him a side Yeah, he, a side is a whole meal. Uh, yeah, pretty okay. much. So I'm going to leave half of the salmon so that I can get all the prawn linguine down. The lasagna is as good as ever for Royal Caribbean. So much food. I just said I don't even know who can eat all. Just this serving right here alone, much less all the other food. So much food, so much meat in the lasagna. And it's beef and pork, by the right. way. You'll see that right. on the menu. So good. This top layer here is just pure just cheese. cheese. Just a just a layer of cheese slapped on the top. Oh, sounds the so good. The charred broccoli is amazing. I love broccoli, and it's somewhat soft, which I like soft broccoli, so if you want really crisp broccoli, that's not going to be it. It's just kind of in between, just right in between, I think. <clears throat> and this, he brought us a carbonara, like Alfredo, and that sauce is the best cream sauce. I've tasted it in a while. Maybe not ever. Just because I can't remember what well, last probably, time went. Probably it, since the last time you went to James. It's at the top of the list. If you're booking specialty dining on Royal Caribbean, make sure you make a trip to Jamie's. It's worth it. Totally agree. First things first, we have to apologize for not showing you what it looked like before we dug into it. Zero self-control. It's ice cream right here, brownie, and then caramelized popcorn. See? Oh. And they always suggest, they being the wait staff, that you take a bite of ice cream, a bite of brownie, and a bite of popcorn. The synergy Collectively. of taste together explode in your mouth. Sorry, my brain is saying, but, but, but there's chocolate brownie here. 
There's ch Sherry. Sherry. There's still ch Sherry. There's still chocolate brownie on the plate. That's and, what my brain is telling me. And on top of that, Henry said, it's a magic brownie. It's and if magic. you eat all three of them collectively, you just, you'll be fine. There's the room. It creates room in your belly. And now, wow, I thought we had chilled out a little. I was just fixing to point out how we had chilled out. Well, the sea had chilled out a little. And here I am falling over the edge. You got rolled. Oh, speaking of rolls, how am I going to segue that into hot dog buns? We're going to get hot dogs at the hot dog. It has a name. <laughs> it's called the dog house. The dog house. Oh, it's in the C-plex. And <laughs> we'll show you where it is. Yeah, we really prepared we well for this, this little deal. We planned this. That's this funny. is all scripted. This is impromptu. Y'all need to know. Yeah, yeah. The map says that the dog house is in the C-plex, which is this location. It's extremely noisy and it's this way. So we're heading that way. The dog house is located in the far corner of the C-plex, which is on deck 15. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It serves a boatload pardon the pun, of different kinds of hot dogs, as well as toppings and buns. Chicken and apple sausage. And JJ got the bratwurst, right? I got the brat. And then you've got your fixings over here. This looks like relish. If anything has been helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe. You're almost done. So that's your last bite of your bratwurst. Was, that was it good? So we came down to promenade. I forgot to start with that. Um, so we could get drinks because we have diamond vouchers and so we went into the bar the, the amber and oak right here outside sorrento's to get sodas to go with our dogs dogs and so i'm fixing to tear into my dog right now hot dog i got a chicken chicken sausage chi chicken apple sausage it was beautiful i put mustard and sweet relish on it and it was wonderful right there by the dog house have if you have a soda package and you have your cup you can get a drink there so and now JJ is having pizza from Sorrento since we're right here. And I'm fixing to go get some dessert from somewhere, Cafe Promenade or La Patisseria. I got dessert, dessert right across the way at La Patisseria. And he handed me a knife so that I could also cut it in half. So. If you want dessert, it is extra at La Pisse. La 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 Patisse. Patis, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's not the Cafe Promenade. It's the one opposite the Cafe Promenade that is extra fee. Everything there. That's where you get your Starbucks drinks and your Ben and Jerry's ice cream and your special desserts that are more than they would offer in Cafe Promenade. We are headed to Windjammer for our fancy. <laughs> Uh, formal night. We forgot that it was lobster night and MBR and formal night as well. We really didn't feel like dressing up anyway and we're not very hungry after kind of a weird heavy lunch. So we're just going to the Windjammer. A reminder about the Windjammer on busy MDR nights like formal night and lobster night. You can basically sit anywhere you want in the Windjammer and have any any of the food that you want they won't be out because everyone's in the mdr and another reminder on royal caribbean now is that the lobster on lobster night is no longer unlimited unfortunately you can have one lobster tail and then after that i believe the charge is 16.99 for every extra lobster tail that you have so just some considerations for you on where to go and you also know that even on formal night you don't have to dress up uh, to go to the MDR if you don't want to. You can basically wear whatever you want short of bare feet and swimwear. Hi, oh, honey. Morning. <laughs> you calling them honey? No. Me honey? You honey. I know I'm honey. You the honey. Headed to the main dining room. We're going there for breakfast, so we'll show that to you. Hi, table for two. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Go team. Go team. Okay. Hi, Armin. Go team. Hey, JJ, how are you? Oh, oh good, can we good. get a window seat? <gasps> Beautiful. And wonderful Armin gave us a window view. We've got some mountains and we got a really dirty window, so it's not much. But sitting at the window at breakfast, it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And we got a menu. If you've never eaten in the main dining room for breakfast before, here are your choices. 
You can pause this as you need and look at the choices on the breakfast menu in the main dining room. We mixed up the menu a little bit. Uh, JJ wanted to order the power wrap if you just saw the menu and did any pausing or rewind on it. But the power wrap is cold. So he wanted a warm breakfast. So he got the breakfast burrito and he got extra eggs on the side. So you can change up the menu pretty much however you want. I ordered the eggs anyway. Instead of toast, I ordered a bagel on the side. It's all just to let you know, you can mix up the menu and anything they have on the menu, they can add in or leave off or whatever. Power burrito. Yes, okay. Extra eggs on the side. Extra eggs on the side, I call them synthetic yeah. eggs synthetic eggs he was hoping for uh, shelled real eggs and you didn't specify i didn't that. specify so that's, so another it's, that's hint. on me that's on me another hint for the mdr right and a fruit plate two fried eggs um don't need that hash browns pork sausage with on the side a bagel and jelly not cream cheese not really a cream cheese fan it just tastes like nothing it's not sweet I guess if you don't want sweet, then cream cheese is your plan. Anyway, I like cream cheese. This looks good. I send my plate back because I like my food hot. I was told the burrito would be already warmed. It's cold, and I got synthetic eggs. So I'm sending the entire order back. Y'all know we give it to you straight. It helps you know what to ask for, Absolutely. what to expect when you are on board. Yep. Explain to him how the food is pre-made in the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, they prepare it before breakfast beforehand keep it under warmers or whatever till breakfast rush comes in we've had a galley tour before on one of the ships and so and it's a really difficult job i'm gonna tell you that they're making food to make for people like me happy <laughs> thousands of people i'm extremely picky when it comes to my food so everything's pre-prepared right. and sitting back in the kitchen to bring out as people order it i've made a discovery that i need to log for everyone for posterity's sake i am a hash browns girl that is new. I used to always uh, leave the hash browns off, cancel hash browns. Like, if, even if I went to McDonald's, I would never get the hash browns as a side. Like, I just was not a potatoes for breakfast girl. That's changed. Uh oh. Hash browns rock. And maybe it's just ovation. Maybe ovation turned me. I don't know. Well, maybe it's the deep fat fried. <laughs> potato <laughs> triangle that could be <laughs> just thought i'd let y'all know the hash browns on ovation are a1 boom wow. that it is a shelled egg <laughs> chorizo burrito it was indeed a special order also it was pro tip pro tip for breakfast specifically in the mdr you can mix and match all day long like i added the bagel to my two egg breakfast which wasn't on the menu listed like that but they have bagels what i'm talking about is like a special order the way your food is prepared like again shelled eggs jj wanted instead of the powdered eggs that's in the pre-made burrito if you have something that's outside of the pre-made menu make sure that you just order it like that from the get-go so it doesn't take so long because we've been waiting a while pro tip just order it up front it'll come quicker success best pizza at steam if you think someone, if you've tried Royal Caribbean Sorrento's Pizza along with another cruise lines recently, we challenge you. Put down below in the comments whose is better. Pizza this is challenge. really good. In fact, this is better than the recent Royal Caribbean cruises we've been on. They got this down. It's really crispy and thin. The pizza wars are on. Good evening. Welcome to Chop's Grill, the new American steakhouse. With all things Wagner, we're at dinner at Chops. <laughs> Last night, we bought a Chops Plus One dining package. Because of the size of the ship, we could have bought a deluxe dining package, unlimited. Um, because they have several dining options, like uh, specialty dining options, ships smaller than this, in our opinion, really aren't worth buying the dining package. <laughs> so we usually do buy a chops plus one or a three meal dining package. So we're honest with y'all. 
right, JJ? So what did we just experience in CHOPS? It appears that they're understaffed, and they have a full airplane, so to speak, and it took 17 minutes for a waiter to come address us, and that's not all. Uh, someone sat us, and then someone came by and gave us water, and then a waiter came by and he'd be right with us, and then a second waiter finally came by and took our order 17 minutes after we were seated. So something's going on tonight, evidently. Ten minutes is too long. That we just give it straight to you. What did you get for appetizer? Colossal might be a hyperbole. <laughs> And the pretzel, bread. Pretzel bread. Oh, yeah. Bread that you're not crazy about. I got the crab cake. I wasn't super hungry. I was going to skip appetizer, but I remembered that it was small. And so I went ahead and ordered it. Crab cake was good. It's not as crispy as I like, but it's real crab, I believe. It's not like canned or fake. It's not faux crab? Crab. I think it's real. I was just telling the audience that I'm pa that I'm pacing myself. You can you can come share. You can come share. I'm pacing myself. Because I have a six ounce filet coming and soup still. So it was wonderful. I don't think they call it second appetizer. I think they call this the appetizer and the last one the starter. 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 So what is your appetizer, JJ? Are you kidding? Of course, Caesar always, salad. always Caesar salad. I got the lobster bisque, which is one of my favorite soups. If it's not too hot, I'll test it and let you know. Tastes like it might have a little cayenne kick to it. A little, a little bump, huh? Hmm. There we go. I just needed to mix it up. It does have a little spicy spice. It's a good taste, though. Not the best I've had. Not as creamy as I like it. And I don't see any chunks of lobster in here. But it is good. Well, we've got an update. It's not that uh, Chops is understaffed this morning. They had a tidal wave of customers show up at the same time. You know, because that's, that's how we are. That's how cruisers are. We don't always stick to our appointment time, right. our reservation right. time. Oh, well, you know what? We're ready. Let's just go down. Let's go ahead and go. And they're definitely not going to turn anybody away. They're not going to not seat you. But this is what it does. It, it's a domino effect. Pro tip, show up at your reservation time. That's correct. Steak has arrived. Six ounce petite filet. And I got a Bernays sauce and red wine reduction. I can't remember which one I really liked on the Explorer. So I just got both sauces. And then we have our family style mac and cheese, asparagus, mushrooms, and JJ's potato. You've already tried your steak, yes? It's perfect? Oh, absolutely. And you have what sauce? No sauce. No sauce. Why would you want to ruin a steak? Steak, perfect. I ordered mine medium well. I have realized I like the red wine reduction sauce almost better than the Bernays sauce. It's wonderful. Mac and cheese, wonderful. Asparagus was great. Double thumbs up. Nine out of ten for the food. Ten out of ten. Filet was perfect. Salted baked potato was perfect. Mushrooms were great. And you didn't have to send it back for free cooking didn't or anything. Have to send it back it was spot on. The best part of the meal. Dessert. We are going to share a cheesecake because the people at the table next to us had one brought to them and it is the size of a football. <laughs> it is almost. It and is Sherry huge. Started drooling. It is huge, so we're going to share it. So you're done, right? No. So that the rest is mine? Negative. I feel like the rest is mine. I'm going to call an officer over here. We'll get this squared away in a minute. Feel, I feel, I believe. I see an officer right there. I'm going to get him over here. We'll get this squared away in a minute. <laughs> I believe in my heart the rest is mine. If you eat the rest of that, you have no heart. If you'll do the rest of the packing, I'll let you have some more. Oh, no, no.